Hey guys, Awkward Hybrid here. Yeah, I'm sure you might have noticed the video as if I totally haven't been, like, posting pictures online or anything. <laughs> Anywho, let's just get straight to the point about this. Who cares if it's Christmas and I got a new coat, or maybe I dyed my hair, or I got all this other stuff. Let's talk about the real important issues here. Rogue One and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. That- that didn't happen. Rogue One, how was it? It was good. Now, both movies, in my case, are both good. Not perfect, but still okay. Now, to get into spoiler territory, we'll have to require some, um, leniency for the mysterious being in the background over there. Does that bother you? No, I've already seen it. Both movies? Well, well of course you've seen Fantastic Beasts, but yeah. Rogue One. Yeah, I've seen it. Okay, just wanted to be certain. Uh, everyone dies! That there, now that we have that thing out of the way, the plot is... Not exactly as tense, because I think most of us have seen the original trilogy. Like, you're watching this and you know what happens. It's not really that tense. So you got this woman named Jin, or as I call her, Vodka Drankinsky. Her name is Jin. How can I not make fun of that? And her dad is Mads Michaels. I mean... I actually don't remember his name, but he was working for the Empire, I think? And... The whole plot is that, like, she figured out that, oh, uh, he built this flaw into the system and now they have to go and, like, try to discover what it is so they can broadcast it to the entire universe. Now, again, I did like this movie and I- the effects were really good. Now, of course, it isn't 100% perfect, no movie can be 100% perfect, but it was still really good. I remember looking at K2 and just thinking to myself, like, oh man, I think he's actually in the room! But there were some problems that still nagged at me, like, for example, um, in the fourth movie, remember when Leia and Darth Vader are talking or something, and it's like, alright, we'll assassinate your home planet, and then the laser shoots out from the Death Star, and then poof? Well, not poof, but still? That was, like, Almost instantaneously, but in this movie, that's the same Death Star, that's still firing the same thing, but it takes forever! Like, you see it, and it's just, mm, it takes, like, 12 years for it to blow up, like, you see, like, of course that would be more realistically, considering how, like, gargantuan planets are. But it was still nagging at me, because like in the original, the laser shot, and then boom! But this one, it's like slowly approaching, and then there's no hor Like, that was a quote. It's like, uh, I have a problem on the horizon, particularly if there is no horizon. And then it's just slowly coming at our heroes, and it's just like... How long did that take in the original? Oh yeah, that long. Like, I did appreciate the racial diversity in the cast, but did I feel any emotion for them? Not really. In the scene where everyone's dying- I liked, I liked K2, but it, I didn't really like any of the other people because they didn't have personalities. Yeah, exactly. Like, I felt the most sadness when K2 died. It was like, no! But then when, like, Jim and Cassian are, like, holding hands and hugging, and it's like, the, the explosion's approaching them, it's like, huh. Sucks to be them. But I think we all know the real couple. I can never remember their names, but it was the two Asian guys. The blind yeah. one and the one with the long hair. They are the real romance, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce their names. I, I, I don't remember their names. <laughs> oh, and K2. I can't forget K2. But yeah, I felt that it was a good movie. I didn't really feel any connection towards the characters, but I still appreciated them nonetheless. Now? Fantastic Beasts, where to find them? It was also good. In, in Fantastic Beasts, it was kind of the opposite. Like, I did feel for the characters, I did relate to them. The effects... Eh. Like, it's still, like, creative designs, but you can kind of tell- Yeah, that's CGI, and I don't mean like, oh, these are fictional characters that aren't real, but they look real- No, you can tell. Like, in one scene in particular, when uh, Kowalski and Scamander are like, hiding in the bank and then the egg's about to hatch, I can just see that is not a real egg. Like, it was just kind of obviously CGI. It was like, mm. And then there are a couple scenes where it's like, where like, uh, Tina and Newt Scamander were like on the roof and it's like kind of sunset, so it's like her side's dark but his side's light. And like, you could you couldn't tell on her side, but when you go to Newt, it was like, oh, that is so green screen. <laughs> so if effects are like, high up there and, like, you demand they be pristine, perfect, 
then maybe this isn't the best movie for you. But if you're more in it for the characters and the story, then it is. So, what's the plot? I forgot to mention the plot! So you got Newt Scamander, and he's going to America, but then he has a suitcase, and then a mix-up happens, and then creatures are let out. And then you gotta catch them all. Yeah, well, and the reason that he was going to America was so that he could release the phoenix in Arizona. Hmm. Well, it wasn't really a phoenix. It had another name, but... Yeah, I'm just calling it that because, like, the town in Arizona. Yeah, and... It was it ended kind of abruptly. Like it's like there was still a climax and then like everyone's going home happy and it's Kowalski, he's a nomad slash muggle slash non magic person. So he gets his obliviated and then <clears throat> he he opens his bakery spoiler I know the intense spoiler of the movie, he gets a bakery. <laughs> I know. So shocking. You ruined the entire movie. Basically. <laughs> But, like, um, he and her, like, sort of girlfriend, but, like, I don't know, they were originally a thing, but she's a witch and he's a normal human. She enters the bakery and they see each other and they're kind of staring at each other, smiling, and it's like, ooh, are they gonna remember each other? Cut to black, and it's like, what? Okay, okay. Like, it could have, like, even though I didn't appreciate the closure, it, like, it kind of dragged on and was like, what, are they gonna start talking? Oh, Okay. Like, it would have been fine if, like, it ended with Newt's commander going back on the boat. Like, it was a little abrupt and, like, not necessarily needed completely, but still fine that it was there. So, do I recommend both movies? I always say the same thing whenever I review movies. That every movie has their demographic. People liked Ghost the Ghostbusters 2016 movie. Some people didn't. Because, again, everyone, every movie has their demographic. So, if you are into Harry Potter lore with Fantastic Beasts, and if you are into Star Wars lore, then go check it out. But if not, then that's up to you. I hope you liked the video. I upload on the 7th, 14th, 21st, 28th of every month with varying occasions. Because I have a life outside of YouTube. Life in quotation marks. And I shall see you next time. Take care. Give me a second here. Okay.